With the federal government just three days away from running out of funds, lawmakers still have no clear plan to prevent the government from shutting down Friday morning, threatening furloughs for hundreds of thousands of government employees and a temporary halt to a slew of critical services, here. Last week, the Democrat-controlled House of Representatives passed a continuing resolution that would keep the government running through December, but Senate Republicans, whose support is critical for the bill's passage, have pledged to vote against the measure because it includes a provision to sue. Though Democrats are eager to move on the debt limit to help shore up funds for the party's lofty policy ambitions, many Republicans have blasted the efforts, citing concerns over heightened inflation. The latest government shutdown in 2019 was the longest in history, with some 800 workers missing two paychecks and going without pay for 35 days, shattering the previous record of 21 days in 1996. The loss of labor resulted in a slew of operational inefficiencies that seeped into American day-to-day -day lives. Many veterans lost access to vocational rehabilitation and counseling services, while the Internal Revenue Service faced weeks-long delays in processing about $150 billion worth of tax refunds. Additionally, as many as 400 000 essential workers were forced to stay on a job without pay, resulting in some employees choosing to stay home. During the 2019 shutdown, several major airports faced delays and even briefly stopped travel as the Transportation Security Administration dealt with labor shortages, CRFB reports. Though the United States Postal Service operates under the executive branch of the federal government, the agency operates independently and continues to operate while the government is shut down, meaning it's roughly 500. OOO employees will continue to work and receive pay. Infrastructure week at last? Here's everything Congress aims to tackle in the coming days, Forbes House passes spending bill to avert government shutdown and suspend debt limit, but Senate GOP threatening to kill it, Forbes, 